Oh, <laughs> walk a Sir, Jibby me, Jibby. Really? Totally. Please. Hello everyone and welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. This is episode 7, Teeny Issues. Thanks for your patience. I mean between Game Changer videos, builds, live builds and the series on the channel, along with occasional Sims 4, I've had to figure out how to prioritize what I put out at what time. But thanks for your patience. This is the dinner hall for the school, the high school that the teens go to. And you can see that I've made use of the items from the Fine Dining Live event. Uh, we have two days to go on the Cafe Grande live event, but I'm just so glad that I have these tables now so I can create a scene, a scene inside of the school's cafe or dinner hall, right? It's important in schools. And I'm um, just really glad that they got all the actions, they talk to themselves and so on. So here's Dennis having a lovely meal. Uh, you know, things seem to be looking up for him in the series right now. His feeling that he's got the girl of his dreams, he's chatting away to his friends, he's feeling like the cool guy. <laughs> and Pamela's sitting over here alone. She's just come back from being suspended after those nude photos went viral, but well, they didn't go viral. They managed to fix that. And she's sat here feeling a bit uncomfortable. So she's had a different hairdo just for the day because she didn't want to be noticed on her first day back. Typically, she would go to a table, sit down, and in minutes, it would fill up with people. You know, she's the popular girl but today she just wants to pull back for a second have a quiet drink and then you know sort of sneak out without drawing attention to herself you know it's she just feels weird like that I've never felt so invisible I can't deal with it all I'm just so invisible is off sick and at home today so she's upstairs but mum is downstairs having a little dance with little daughter Megan who's going to have her first day at nursery or preschool so it's an exciting time for the mum because her kids are growing up she's got a new house and you know she's really feeling happy with her family situation and she isn't paying that much attention to Ebony who's upstairs claiming to be unwell but the fact is she's you know love sick she's upset that she saw Dennis and Pam at the mall so she's home today avoiding studies and nursing her emotions <laughs> right we're going to give little Megan some food so that would be her breakfast this morning and yeah she gets to sit on the floor but they can sit on the dining table now and I've chosen this color for the living room as most of you voted and then I thought I'd put the mum in this beautiful dress too it's an urban outfit I'm going to get her to wash her hands so that custard doesn't go on her lovely outfit and as I say she's not really paying attention to Ebony who's upstairs as a single mum her focus now is on little Megan who's going to school this morning for the first time and you know she just takes Ebony's word for it that she's unwell she's never had a day off from school so the mum believes that she's feeling poorly let's go and check on Ebony learnt my lesson. Never change your looks because of a boy. With the last few updates, I've had to go in and update the Williams household. So some new couches, the beautiful artwork we've unlocked, and of course this beautiful table. 
I mean, the house looks quite nice and it's just one of my favorite builds ever since I've been playing with AR. And so I keep going in and changing things every now and again. Now, Jeffrey here does have a little bit of a worry in his life right now because he lied to his wife about who actually hit Dennis. So he believes that this isn't something that would affect their family and just feels he should keep it on the wraps. It is the end of school day and his family is at the park and Chrissy has had an extended playtime with little Ruby here waiting for Dennis who has finally arrived uh, and is part of the fun and games for the last few days of summer. Little Ruby wants a snack from her mum, as you do at the park. You want ice cream, ice cream. We should have that for the next, I don't know, summer update, an ice cream cart. But let me get Dennis to have a quick chat with his mum about the upcoming prom. Now that's the season finale, the next episode. It's very exciting and his mum and dad are excited being the first son in the home about his experience with girls and they're secretly thinking that Ebony is the girl of choice. Ebony's a nice girl, yeah? But Pamela? Oh man, mum she's really pretty. And anyone who dances with her is going to win prom king. Dennis, what on earth are you talking about? It's not about being pretty. You have to think about a girl's qualities and so on. When you were sick, when you had a terrible accident, who came to the hospital, who visited you at home with some gifts. Yeah, you know, it was it. It's not all about the glittery looks. You have to think about someone's character. <laughs> it's all right, Mom. Anyone can look nice, but not everyone has a good heart. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is really important. You're my son. I don't want you to get into any complicated situation. plus one because I am the princess so I'll make it easy for you and give you the permission to do so your royal highness princess Susan Susan's dad Prince Eden is actually at this beautiful house, the British Columbian house that I built. It's on the channel and it's got a life build for it too. But he's here with the detective and the detective's wife, Sheena. He wants to sort of encourage the detective to ease off on the case regarding Susan now that the evidence is in that she was responsible for trying to viral nude photos of Pamela, which is actually a felony. Uh, and, um, yeah, because they're friends, and better still, the prince is royalty and has all that power. He's trying to see if he could get the detective to soften his grip on the case. I'd really like to know why we're here. Your Highness, I'd like to give you this house as a gift. Bribes. I can't accept that. On the contrary, 
What is it then? Not a bribe, just a compensation for your troubles. As we take care of Susan ourselves. I can't tell you how uncomfortable this is. As is the case in most families, the mum or the dad will be the last to get to the table after it's been set. Uh, and so let me get Madame to have a sit down with her family now that she's ready uh, and join the family and chit chat away over a lovely dinner. So it's that time of the evening, say about 5 p.m. or so, or 6 even, and they have an early dinner and they chat together and they laugh and catch up on the day's events. Dad here is wearing a fabulous Italian outfit. Pamela is having a nice dig into her meal and it's wonderful that they can put the nude fiasco behind them. So we have someone pop by uh, dropping in on their fabulous evening. Must be another suitor for your prom. Perhaps you get the door. Okay, father. Hey, Pamela, what's up? Hey, Simon. About time you showed up here already. Will you be my date to the prom? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, oh, that's great. Yeah. I should have come earlier. I had a DJ gig. I've got this really beautiful dress. Oh! It's also evening time, the end of the day at Ebony's house and as usual she's tidying up after her sister who would have tossed a number of toys around she's cleaning up she's assisting her mum and the sister sat at the table uh, nibbling away at some good warm home-cooked meal and as it stands ebony has no expectations regarding the prom her mum has urged her to go out and buy a dress regardless and show up and have fun but it's it's something that she's still on pause about and unlike Pamela, she doesn't have a large number of options outside her front door. Better not be here to ask me to the prom. Don't embarrass yourself. So why are you here? And don't lie. Wait, what have I lied about? What's going on? Ebony, hang on a minute. You, Pamela photo booth at the mall mm. who told you that who told you that seriously man i can explain mm -hmm. i was just being a friend oh, i've heard enough just get out of my house oh, right fine just calm down i'll just go yeah don't trip over keep your way straight Kazawa Skiba, Kuba Flopnu. Hello, Tom. Um, well, is this about your sister? Um, 
Pamela is fine. It's just... I wouldn't worry about her. We never talk at school. And so, what's the matter? Well, Ebony, I heard you weren't feeling well. I thought I'd pop by and take care of a matter. Will you be my plus one? At the prom? Yes, Tom. It'd be an honor. <laughs>